in signing up to it, I think he went in with a kind of really nice attitude to it, which was good, and also it attracted a lot of his friends. I think he did more writing in that, in that course than he had done in the previous three or four years of school combined. I mean, I couldn't believe it. There were just pages and pages and pages. To see it unfold and to listen to the conversations at the end of the day were just made a mother's heart sing. You know, there was focus, there was energy, and the best bit, there was joy. And you know what? It just opened actually a gateway. It just got a crack in the door a little bit for this child to re-engage um, with education. Uh, I took it because I just thought it looked like a really interesting like experience. It's, it really stuck out from the other options we had. I think it forces you to like adapt to new situations because it puts you in those situations that you wouldn't be in your everyday life. So it kind of like forces you to form new ways of thinking. The whole point of the game is that you're putting yourself in somebody else's shoes and that's pretty much what empathy is. I think it's amazing that I got to play Dungeons and Dragons as an academic experience and I think a lot of people kind of close themselves off to that idea because they don't actually understand how much like real thinking and real work goes into just playing the game, all the rule books, all the writing you have to do. Um, I think if they could see that then they would, they would actually be pretty open to the idea of having that in their lives.